You can hear a conversation in the background between many different people. Thank you for standing for the rule of law. One being the conversation about paid outside agitators. And you also hear Ryan's voice slightly in the background if in hand say, let's do it. That's when you can see it kind of grabbed the attention of the person who was holding the phone at the time. He points up. You see three gentlemen walking over towards the, the direction of the far side of the people. A gentleman with a black vest, a cowboy hat. A gentleman with a red MAGA hat, who you will see later on in the video. Another person with a black shirt. I believe it was like an HBO fight shirt. And then a relative of ours in a gray shirt. He said, let's go take a picture in front of this. As soon as I heard them say that, I told him, you guys aren't going to take a picture in front of that because you're doing it for the wrong reasons. And he said, watch me. The relative in the gray shirt, I could hear walking over telling the young gentleman, don't do it. Don't do it. It's a bad idea. It's a bad idea. Don't do it. When they turn the corner, they are confronted by about one or two gentlemen asking him to not go forward anymore, that there's women and children and that there's an altar there. At this time, he begins to just keep pushing forward. It's more of a chest bumping match because we're using our bodies with our hands up in order to protect the women and children behind us. And also, he is trying to continue forward, lowering his shoulder, trying to push through. Come to the middle of this place. Our children need to be in the middle of the center. Right here. All the children in the middle. All the grandmas in the middle. Um, we eventually get him to the corner where the wall meets. And when they told him to not go any further, he said, it's a public sidewalk. I can go whatever I want. When he jumped over the wall, he proceeded to say, who's going to stop me? At that point, it was already too late. We had to stop him because of the safety of others. and hop back over the wall where he pulled the gun out with his right hand a black gun with a flashlight and shot the relative about five feet back from the wall Let him go. right before he shot he did yell fuck you And after that, he began to run, where another relative chased him down. Another relative followed the vehicle in the car. It took about five to ten minutes for police response, being right next door in the city building. And it took about... 12 to 15 minutes for ambulance to arrive and assist in any way. 